Hey guys, Rubrik777. Uh, this video is going to be a kind of a split, but uh, it's going to be a spoiler and non-spoiler uh, for uh, the Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy uh, for also for the books and also the movies um, and just my, my thoughts on the good, bad, and ugly of uh, this uh, trilogy. Um, so yeah, hope you guys like the video. Enjoy! So to start off, uh, the non-spoiler stuff, uh, let's, uh, just say the book, um, is really, like, outdated, uh, but, uh, the movie kind of fixes that in a way. The uh, book and the movie, uh, the, the amount of language and, uh, just how, how they speak is a lot different. In the two different things and the last point I want to make is it's missing a lot of context or just uh, like smaller uh, plots um, in uh, the book never makes it into the movie um, so yeah those are a couple of different things uh, that are non-spoiler uh, way of me talking about uh, this uh, trilogy um, so yeah uh, let's move on to the details and like this uh the spoiler section of my uh, video so yeah so what i meant by uh in the beginning when i said um outdated uh in the book the uh characters use um blackberries uh for phones and then in the movies uh they uh they use iPhones uh, because that was the new thing uh, back when the movies uh, came out. Uh, I would have preferred if they just used uh, Blackberries. Uh, but I, I guess probably the actors and actresses just didn't want to uh, deal with that. The uh, movie was missing a lot of context uh, compared to the book. It is like uh, smaller scenes or just plots. Uh, we're just not in the movie, uh, like, uh, stuff about, uh, Anastasia's father, uh, s like, other characters, like, the bodyguards, um, and who they're dating, and who they're, uh, with, and what happened with their families, um, never talked about in the movies, uh, they just get right to the point, and, uh, there's a lot of context in between, the sex scenes and they just it never happens in the uh, movies um so that's probably one of the reasons why it's so got such a low ranking or like s low score um on rotten tomatoes and stuff um so yeah there's that the music uh i enjoy music but there's a point when uh you just go way too far and uh, they use a lot of new music in instead of what was in the book. The book um, had like Frank Sinatra and some really old classic music. Um, Coldplay is also mentioned in the book, uh, which they're not in the movie. Um, if they did that, the movie would have probably had a higher rating um, than just 11%. Um, so that's another point I wanted to make. Uh, what else? Uh, none of the films, like, are accurate to the, uh, books. Uh, they're just, they're, they're, they're like, they take the smallest bit of information and give it to you, um, in the form of a movie. Um, so if you're going to want to, um, understand and want to, like, know about this story, just read the book. Uh, the book has so much more information. Uh, what else? Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it. I, I mentioned all of my plot details on my, uh, list that I've, I just have in, um, in my hand right now. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's, uh, wrap up this video, guys. And yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, tell me in the comments, have you uh heard or know anything about 
uh, this uh, story? Have you read it? Uh, or do you plan on ever reading it ever? Uh, other than that, uh, I know I said a lot of spoilers um, in this discussion, uh, but if you're just interested, uh, once again, I'm going to say read the book. Don't bother watching the movies. Uh, it's just the context, like, they don't give you anything in the movies because um, they skip, like, a lot of scenes that were in the book. Um, so, yeah. Other than that, thanks so much for watching. Please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to ring the bell to be notified when to make more videos. Uh, but, yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.